classified space planes, NASA space shuttle, and today in space history on this Space Vidcast Daily for April 26, 2010. On Thursday, April 22nd at 2352 Coordinating Universal Time, an Atlas V rocket carried the X-37B into space to begin testing of this new and secretive vehicle. They'll be demonstrating and validating the guidance, navigation, and control systems, which includes an autonomous re-entry and landing at California's Vandenberg Air Force Base, much like the X-40 free flight test shown here. Speaking of shuttles, Orbiter Vehicle 104, or better known as Space Shuttle Atlantis, has rolled out to Launch Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center this last Wednesday. Atlantis is prepping for her final flight of STS-132, currently slated for May 14, 2010, although the vehicle won't be fully retired after this mission. Atlantis will be used as a standby vehicle for STS-335, which is the launch on need mission for the final Space Shuttle flight ever. If Space Shuttle Discovery encounters problems on STS-133 and a rescue mission is needed, NASA will call in Atlantis to bring the crew home safely. Since the inception of the Launch on Need missions with STS-114, NASA has never needed to fly an STS-300 series rescue mission. Chances are, STS-132 will be the last time Space Shuttle Atlantis will see space. But what better shuttle to have as a backup for the end of the Space Shuttle era than Atlantis? We have a go for auto sequence start. The baton has been passed from the Launch Control Center computers, and Columbia is now in charge of its own launch countdown. T minus 20 seconds. Columbia's vent doors are being moved and configured for flight. T minus 15, coming up on a go for main engine start. 12, 11, 10, T minus 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one solid rocket ignition and liftoff liftoff of columbia on a voyage to the future 17 years ago today space shuttle columbia launched for mission sts 55 from pad 39a at kennedy space center columbia was originally supposed to launch in late february but this date slipped due to possible issues with the space shuttle main engine oxidizer turbo pumps all three turbo pumps were replaced at the pad but then Columbia saw further delays when a hydraulic flex hose burst in the aft compartment during a flight readiness test. The lines were removed, inspected, and three replacements were installed. A launch attempt on March 22nd further delayed Columbia as the launch was aborted at T minus three seconds when computers detected an incomplete ignition of the number three space shuttle main engine. Finally, on April 26, 1993, Space Shuttle Columbia launched for her Space Lab mission involving 88 different experiments. And don't forget to join us this Friday at 0200 hours, Coordinated Universal Time, for Space Vidcast Live. This week, we'll have on guest Bill Souter, who's the author of the Rocket Belt Pilot's Manual. This is your chance to ask someone who's actually flown a rocket belt your very own questions. For those of you in the U.S., the show will be this Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time or 10 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Remember to pick up your copy of the Rocket Belt Pilot's Manual from ApogeeBooks.com before the show, and we'll see you there.